The story of Atlantis is one of the most enduring mysteries of our time. A lost continent or island believed to have been located in the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantis, according to myth, was a highly advanced civilization that was destroyed in a single day and night. One theory about the destruction of Atlantis is that it was destroyed after a war against ancient Greece. According to this theory, Atlantis was a powerful naval power that sought to conquer the Mediterranean Sea. The ancient Greeks, led by the goddess Athena, fought back against the Atlanteans and ultimately defeated them. In the process, Atlantis was destroyed and its people were either killed or enslaved. The Atlanteans were said to be tall, predominantly blonde people with advanced knowledge of mathematics, engineering and architecture. The Greeks were said to be shorter, with a darker complexion and fierce, warlike culture. There is some evidence to support the myth of Atlantis to be true. For example, Plato, who wrote about Atlantis in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, said that Atlantis was located near the Pillars of Hercules, which are a pair of rocky promontories that mark the westernmost point of the Strait of Gibraltar. This is also where the ancient Greeks believed Atlantis was located. Some scholars believe that Plato's story of Atlantis was inspired by real events such as the eruption of the Santorini volcano in the Aegean Sea around 1600 BC. In addition, there have been a number of archaeological discoveries that have been linked to Atlantis. For example, in 1967, a team of archaeologists discovered the ruins of a submerged city off the coast of Spain. The city, which is known as Atlantis Balearic, is believed to have been destroyed by a tsunami around 12,000 years ago. The war begins. The war between Greece and Atlantis began when the Atlanteans attempted to conquer the Mediterranean Sea. The Greek city-states were a loose confederation of independent city-states that were located in the Mediterranean Sea. The Greeks were a proud and independent people who were not afraid to fight for their freedom. They were also known for their military prowess and their willingness to defend their homeland. The Atlanteans believed that they were the rightful rulers of the Mediterranean and they were determined to subjugate the Greek city-states. The Greek city-states were not willing to submit to Atlantean rule and they fought back against the Atlantean invasion. The Greeks were led by the goddess Athena who was said to have given them the strength and courage they needed to defeat the Atlanteans. The beginning of the war between Greece and Atlantis was a time of great turmoil and uncertainty. The Atlanteans were a powerful enemy and the Greeks were not sure if they could defeat them. The first battle took place in the Aegean Sea near the island of Crete. The Greek fleet was led by King Minos of Crete, while the Atlantean fleet was led by King Poseidon. The Greek fleet consisted of over 1,000 ships, while the Atlantean fleet consisted of only 500 ships. The Greek ships were smaller and less heavily armed than the Atlantean ships, but they were faster and more maneuverable. The Greeks won this first battle, a major victory. It showed that the Greeks were a powerful force to be reckoned with, and it also showed that the Atlanteans were not invincible. The victory gave the Greeks the confidence they needed to continue fighting. The Atlanteans counterattacked by launching a surprise attack on the Greek city-state of Athens. The Atlantean army consisted of over 100,000 soldiers, while the Greek army consisted of only 50,000 soldiers. The Atlantean army was equipped with advanced weapons and technology, while the Greek army was equipped with swords, spears, bows and arrows. The Atlantean army was led by the Atlantean king Poseidon, who was a powerful and ruthless warrior. The Greek army was led by the Greek hero Theseus, who was a skilled warrior and a cunning strategist. The Greeks were caught off guard and the Atlanteans quickly captured the city. The Atlantean king Poseidon declared himself the ruler of Athens and he demanded that the Greeks submit to Atlantean rule. The Greeks refused to submit, and they launched a guerrilla war against the Atlanteans. The war dragged on for several years, and it was a time of great hardship for the Greeks. However, the Greeks never gave up, and they eventually managed to drive the Atlanteans out of Athens. The Atlanteans were defeated, but they were not destroyed. They retreated back to their home island, where they began to rebuild their strength. However, their defeat had weakened them, and they were no longer a threat to Greece. It is said that the war against the Greeks by the Atlanteans angered the gods. The gods thought the Atlanteans were arrogant and prideful. They believed that they were the superior race and thought that they could conquer the Greeks and the gods themselves. The gods decided to punish them. They sent a series of natural disasters to destroy the island, including earthquakes, floods and tsunamis. The entire island of Atlantis sank beneath the sea, and the Atlantean people were lost forever. The destruction of Atlantis was a sudden and catastrophic event that happened in a single day and night. 
The story of the destruction of Atlantis is said to be a warning to humanity. It is a reminder that even the most powerful civilizations can be destroyed if they become arrogant and prideful. The story also teaches us that we should respect the natural world and that we should not take our blessings for granted.